this is quite a rare survivor from the normal approach you get to one of the great country houses where you have an outer square courtyard which is where your carriage or whatever vehicle you're in arrives. Your grooms or the grooms of the house relieve you of your horses. They go into the stable that forms one side of that square courtyard and then you approach these beautiful ornamental iron gates embellished in gold and it's through these you come into the inner square courtyard. And from here we look on to the house. So there is this, this lovely sense of acceleration as you come towards an important man's home. One of the public state rooms, this is the dining room, I think we call it the brown room here because it's panelled in dark brown wood. And like all these great houses, of course, this isn't where the family would live day to day, is it? This was another one of the great show rooms. And indeed, we've got it dressed for dinner here. We've got replicas of food on the table. But, you know, Derry, tell us what kind of banquets and meals would have taken place in here in the, in the period we're looking at, the, the early Morgan days, the 1670s, 1680s? As you say, this is a room that would have been used for formal entertaining. If the Lord of the Manor had been in residence by himself or just maybe a couple of people and has, it wouldn't have been unusual in that period for people to have taken their meals in their bedroom. But for formal entertaining, this is the room that, that would have been used for that kind of occasion. Some of the, uh, these uh, foods that have been set up on the table are pretty spectacular because that was what you would want to do. It was a piece of domestic theatre. Um, you would have pyramids of fruit. We've also got rather a, a, a Mm, I wonder what to make of that. This, this is a, a sort of a trio of lobsters doing a, some sort of a dance. Um, <laughs> joining both. No, but I mean, seriously, that's the sort of thing they like doing. You know, five and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie. The theatre of the unexpected, of the tasty, the Heston Blumenthal. I was going to say, Heston Blumenthal <laughs> would have been very at home in, in Baroque kitchens, would he not? That's exactly what it was all about. <laughs> Uh, brought back some happy memories from Rome. Yes, we don't know whether the Morgan men went off on, on the grand tour, but certainly they would have aspired to, and they wanted to bring an element of Europe back to South Wales. This ceiling here is a, is a copy of a ceiling at a palace in Rome, the Palazzo Barberini. It depicts the glorification of one of the popes. Since we've been open under the National Trust, we've put in a day bed in this room because really to look at it without cricking your neck, the best way to do it is to lie down, come over here and lie down and just get a sense of this ceiling. All right, well, I'm giving you a few hours. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh we're going. <laughs> we're we're over there. <laughs> I, I don't guarantee I can get up again. That's the only thing. <laughs> Actually, you say this is the, the apotheosis or glorification of the Pope. It's a very, very drunken scene for the glorification of a pope. I think that fat man, well... Bacchus? I think he's Silenus, actually. Silenus, don't yeah. Don't you think? I mean, I, I don't see much of an ecclesiastical resonance there. And knowing the family here, I'd have thought that they would be more on the side of Bacchus than the pope. <laughs> this is one part of that scene, and I think it's interesting that what you pick up, that that's the part they chose yeah. to bring back, because the bigger <laughs> ceiling yeah. back in Rome is that. You know, it's rather good looking at a ceiling like this, though. I mean, it is much more comfortable. But you do really get to enjoy the detail. And, um, I mean, and the I company. Had, and the company, too. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't noticed this rather sort of gargoyle-esque face here. Either end, one either yeah. end, at the end of the oval. And actually, yeah, looking at it from here, you'd never get that standing up and sort of cricking your neck. No. I have to say, though, for those who want to be a little bit more sedate, there is a mirror table you can use. <laughs> <laughs>